We have two Ford Bronco Everglades. In today's video, we're going to tell you why this is one of the most underrated trim levels of the entire Bronco lineup. And we've also got something else. Yeah, super exciting news today. We've got the first ever Bronco Everglades on 37 inch tires. Let's go. Let's jump right into the video. And this is the all new Everglades. And I'm so excited to show you a couple of the OEM factory features that makes this so unique. So the very first thing that you probably realize is you've got this worn winch up front. This is the very first OEM factory standard equipment winch that you can get on any vehicle in the marketplace. I think it is so cool that Ford gives you that ability. But there's one downside to this particular winch, and we're going to cover that later on in the video. But the other thing that sets the Everglades apart from a normal Bronco is going to be this snorkel. I know I'm pointing out some, some pretty obvious things, but I've got some very, very good information that you're going to want to stay all the way through the video for. But this snorkel does a couple of things. First off, the intake for the engine is able to grab a cleaner air. So if you're running through the desert and you've got dust that's knocked up, having this up higher is going to allow the engine to run a little bit more efficiently. But the other thing is, is if you're splashing around in the Everglades, <laughs> <laughs> then having this intake up here is going to be a lot better. You don't have to worry about your engine hydrolocking as it sucks in air through the normal standard version of the air intake. So that's kind of a couple of different things. But I'll tell you one of my favorite things about this Everglades is what are you doing, Colton? Are you dancing? A little bit. <laughs> I thought he was dancing there for a second. He's trying to trying to distract me, but I won't let that happen. But anyways, we've got these upgraded fenders on the vehicle itself. You'll notice it's got these square-ish style to it. A normal Bronco has a perfect half circle for the fenders. And unfortunately, the only way you can get these fenders is either on the Everglades or on the Bronco Heritage. But that's okay because on my personal Bronco Badlands, since it wasn't available to me, I did something that I like even better than these which is gonna be the advanced fiberglass concept fenders. They look fantastic. There is a couple of other things that I wanna show you on the Everglades that makes it different. So let's jump on into the interior. On the interior of the Bronco Everglades, the water theme is continued on. You've got the washout floors. You've got the marine grade vinyl, which by the way, I wanna talk about that. Look at this, this vinyl actually looks more like leather than it does vinyl. I mean, you've got the gray and the charcoal. You've even got a hunter green stitching, which ties in perfectly with the grab handles throughout the vehicle. I mean, take a look at this. You've got the brown and the military green, because I can't remember the real name of the color of these handles, but in my opinion, uh, that is the best looking accent on the entire Bronco lineup. You know, the Badlands is the vehicle that I've got in mind. Uh, one downside of that Badlands is I don't like the orange theme on my truck because I'm kind of going for a military looking kind of a color and the orange just kind of clashes depending on which color you select. The green, I think, has got a fantastic tie-in. There's one other really cool thing I want to show you on this Bronco and that's the fact that this Bronco has the upgraded option of the tailgate table. Take a look at this. This is literally designed to tailgate in the vehicle. Now I am a, a tall, tall, big dude. I'm six foot three and you can see, yeah. I mean, how cool is this that you've got a little bit of coverage, tailgating, whatever you want, you've got that. Now the other cool part about this setup is the fact that you can lay those seats flat down and because this is a raised surface, now you've got a perfectly flat area if you need to go camping inside your Bronco. And with that being said, I'm going to toss it over to Colton. All right, thank you, Mitchell. Looks like I have the ball in my hands. <laughs> so let's start off on the front here. I don't know if Mitchell mentioned it, but this does have a winch standard from the factory. One of the things about this winch, it's a little different than the one that you would get um, on most Broncos or if you get as an aftermarket accessory, it's not wireless. And that's not a terrible thing. The wired option's good, gives you plenty of, plenty of cord to make sure you're far enough out of the way that you're not gonna get in any kind of trouble. The big thing that we do wanna mention here is this is on 37s. This is the first Everglades I've seen that I think anybody's seen on a set of 37s. The way we achieved this is we did the Zone Off-Road 3-inch Adventure Kit. That's a puck style lift with upper control arms. That way you keep all that geometry in track and, and keep everything where it needs to be. So before we go any further, I do want to mention that right now we're running 10% off on this specific lift kit along with all the parts you see on this Bronco. Use discount code Everglades for that 10% off right now so you can build your Bronco just as bad as this thing. Now moving on, I do want to mention that the customer did want to keep these wheels, and I'm actually kind of happy he did. These are probably my favorite standard Bronco wheels that I've seen on any vehicle. You know, that goes for the Sasquatch, Badlands, 
every single one. These are probably the coolest wheels that I've seen on one, and I'm glad he decided to stick with it because it really did keep this whole look going. While we're still on the topic of the front end and the suspension and wheels and tires, I want to mention that this customer did go with the upgraded Fabtech tie rods. This customer plans on off-roading this thing, and he wanted to make sure that he had the capability and the confidence to go where he needed to go and not have to worry about what is considered the weak link of the Bronco. Moving over here to the side, another aspect that I really like, again, it follows this whole like utilitarian Spartan kind of look, are the rock side step rails. These things fit this Bronco so well. Uh, probably one of the, the, the best fit on a Bronco I've seen so far. And you know, we've all seen these. We love these things. They're super strong. I mean, that's super thick metal. That thing will hold the weight of the Bronco itself. And you've also got the step there. And that's, that's just super convenient to have something that not only protects your vehicle, but also lets you get in and out of these massive Broncos that we build. So these massive 37 inch tires, you may be worried about turning them over because with the Everglades, you can only get it with a 2.3 liter four cylinder. I'm here to say this thing turns these over just fine and you don't notice any acceleration loss. This is a really well driving vehicle that I, that I recommend anybody lift and do 37s on. One thing I did want to mention before ending this video is if you do decide to go with a set of 37 inch tires that are 12 and a half inches wide with these factory wheels, there is slight rubbing at full lock and I'm not talking about your normal daily driving. I'm talking about turning that thing all the way and then giving it a pull. I would say you still have 99% of your turning radius, but I do want to mention that and be transparent in, in all the things we do. So realistically, the only way to get away from that is to run something with less offset. So these are actually a 17 by eight and a half with a positive 35, which is a pretty good spec for a factory wheel, a lot better than most. But if you could get to that 17 by eight and a half zero offset or 17 by nine with a positive 20 or something like that, you'd be a little better off and not have any rubbing issues at all. Fantastic rundown, Colton. Thank you very much for that. Guys, I'm gonna remind you, if you want any of those TC Customs parts, we'll have some links down below, 10% off, use code Everglades to pick up your custom accessories, not just for Bronco, but F-150, 250, Ranger, all different kinds of things will be linked down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.